gunshots reverberate through the ransacked streets of Yemen's capital, Sana'a, the civil strife that has brought misery to millions of people. Now, the country's former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh, is calling for dialogue with the Saudi-led coalition forces. They need to lift the blockade and open the airports and allow food and medicine into the country. We will open a new page for them for dialogue. What is happening in Yemen is enough. Saleh's one-time ally, Houthi leader Abdul Malek al-Houthi, has accused him of deliberately creating unrest to create divisions amongst the anti-Saudi-led coalition bloc. Houthi says his group's focus was always to protect Yemen's internal security, guard hospitals and mosques. Tell every militia that your actions are suspicious and we have seen nothing good from you. You're not heroes, you're not men, you are not uh, uh, good people. When Abdurabu attacked the mosque, when he attacked al Ghana, were you then men? Were you then defending or doing anything? You were nothing but coward rabbits. But analysts think outside pressure may have influenced Salah's shift in allegiance. Yemen was already struggling before the war. Now the UN calls it the largest humanitarian crisis in the world. Of its 25 million people, 20 million rely on humanitarian assistance. I think it's, it's very clear that he maybe wants to put one of his uh, family members in power or to share power with the uh, current legitimate government. Um, so I think maybe it seems to me that there might be some collaboration between regional powers on uh, Saleh and maybe the uh, legitimate government to somehow um, overthrow the Houthis first and then have a serious political talk. The Saudi-led coalition imposed a blockade on all of Yemen's ports and airports earlier last month after the Houthis fired a missile that may have targeted Riyadh. As a result, seven to eight million Yemenis are on the brink of famine. The country is also suffering from a cholera epidemic, which aid workers predict could hit one million sufferers by the end of the year. Now, the conflict between Salah's supporters and Houthi forces could mean more hardship for the people of Yemen. Hannah Hoxter, Al Jazeera.